busy day. 2K just released a whole lot of info. Let me keep you up to date, fellas. Yeah, they just released a part trailer, man. NBA 2K21, welcome to the 2K Beach. We were teased the 2K Beach in the last trailer that they released, and a whole bunch of people were curious if we were gonna get the same park. And when I tell you there were mixed reactions across the board, some people who are all right with this, some people excited by it, and some people just furious about the news. Hey, if y'all new to the channel, you haven't already, we make daily 2K21 content. Be sure to subscribe. I got a hilarious video dropping tomorrow where I'm judging people's 2K21 ideas in a judge outfit and I got prosecutor low. It's a whole thing, all right? Subscribe if you want to see it. I also want to mention second channel link in the description. I'm uploading all the IRL stuff, the basketball stuff, reaction stuff over there. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first things first, uh, I'll let the trailer play while I talk because at this point, y'all have already seen the trailer. The only thing I will say before I start though is every year 2K does either partner with PlayStation or Xbox and it seems like this year they went with PlayStation. So I think they, I, they mentioned something about having some like starter packs or something like that for people who play on PlayStation for the My Team guys. It's usually nothing really that make you wanna switch consoles, but uh, they do have some going on with PlayStation this year. Okay, this is at least the way I'm seeing it, right? Because I'm split, you know? There's people furious that it's the same reskin neighborhood, but there's some people excited that at least we have something different to look at. It gives it a whole LA vibe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now you look in the background here, you can see Hollywood Hills, whole bunch of palm trees. This is California we're talking about, fellas. And the idea of playing in a park in the middle of California, not that bad, I kind of with it, to be honest with you guys. But personally for me, I have all my expectations with the next gen version of the game. I don't even, I'm not even treating 2K21 on current gen like it's a new game in my head. Cause I know it's gonna lead me to be disappointed. Cause there's no way they worked well on this game and it turned out to be great. And so did next gen, you feel me? So I'm hoping that's where the focus went. And you know, when I hear things like uh, your builds aren't gonna transfer to next gen, uh, it gets me excited because it probably means we're gonna get an entirely different experience on next gen. Hopefully. So they give a little bit of details about the story here for the people who care about that. Me personally, I don't. Um, they have a story for it. That caught me off guard. That's how low my expectations are for current gen, guys. They brought back some of the college teams, so I guess throughout the My Career Story, you have to compete through college. Eh, but it's like, personally for me, it's all about expectations. If you expected this game to blow your mind out the water, then you probably watching this right now severely disappointed that there wasn't more to it. And Ronnie did mention that he was gonna explain in a, at a later date some more shit because the, 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 the goddamn trailer was so jam packed. That's what he tried to tell everybody. Anyway, besides the point, that's the trailer for those who haven't seen it. It's what you would expect a 2K trailer to look like. It just teases a whole bunch of stuff, but it doesn't really tell you a lot of anything. But there was a whole lot of reactions, man, and from every imaginable spectrum. Tysino on Twitter said, 2K21 on current gen looks like it'll be a blast until the PS5 drops. I'm really happy with that trailer. Yeah, you can always pick out things to complain about, but that is definitely enough to hold us down until a new generation, W. And the reality is, is for most content creators, if you say you like something about 2K, everyone is like, ah, you're such a shill. And then when you say something negative about 2K, everyone is like, ah, man, you never say anything positive. So it's like, you really can't win. So at the end of the day, what I realized with this YouTube stuff is you just say what's on your mind and regardless of what you say, people are gonna find a problem with it. Here, Tysino's saying like, ah, nah, kinda met my expectations, kinda what I expected. The only thing is, and I wanna keep reminding people this because everyone is kinda just assuming, you might not get access to these next-gen consoles for months after their release. Do you guys not remember the PS4 and Xbox One launch? It was very challenging for the first month and a half to two months just to get the console. It was sold out everywhere. Unless you knew someone in the industry or you had a retail plug, you weren't getting the game. It was not just a matter of whether or not you can afford it. If you just assume you're gonna have access to a PlayStation 5 off rip, that's not a safe assumption to make because there was times in the past where it wasn't like that. I agree wholeheartedly with Ticino. For a game you guys know I'm only gonna be playing for about two and a half, three months, yeah, I'll take it. LA? I gotta play in LA. I'll take it. Power said, in the My Career blog, they only mentioned the 3v3 and the 5v5. People began to freak out because in the trailer, we didn't see any information, we didn't see a video, we didn't see nothing about the twos court. And a lot of people, especially on YouTube, like to play on the twos. In this blog post, it says, soak up the sun at the 2K beach. The neighborhood is the place ballers can live out their virtual day-to-day -day lives, where the hoops culture can come to life on every corner. Whether you wanna compete in 3v3 street ball runs, play for bigger stakes in the 5v5 pro-am games, or simply show off the drip, Etc. Etc. I do want to mention that Mike Wang brought up a point that Pro-Am is going to see more competitive sliders. So if you want to casually just chill with you guys and play Park, then that's cool. But on Pro-Am is probably going to be a more challenging experience to play the game, and that's probably where you're going to find a lot of the tryhards. So it's it's almost as if they're trying to create like a ranked unranked, but 
with different game modes, which I don't think is the best way to do it, but considering this is current gen and they're cutting corners everywhere, I kind of expected this and I seen it coming. Some eagle-eyed fans may have spotted the new locale from our Everything is Game trailer. It's official. Welcome to the 2K beach, soak up the sun and escape, etc. So it's just a whole bunch of stuff to sell. They mentioned they got swags back, the rec returns, uh, the NBA store, of course, because they got to make money somehow. NBA 2K21 will continue to host plenty of 2K events at the 2K beach, providing even more reasons to come back all year long. But there's no evidence to assume yet that they added any new events. They could have just recycled the events the same way they recycled the whole archetype system. Hank the Tank Proud just tweet asking, where is bonus on the wheel? Uh, because I think people is getting real analytical with it. And you guys remember on the Elite Wheel, there was a bonus where you could win crazy rewards. People would hop on daily just to be able to do that. I hope it's somewhere on here and we just can't see it. That's what I'm hoping is the case. But the news was kind of in a flurry everywhere. Even though it was a Parks trailer that released, it was a blog post and that blog post kind of detailed a lot of different things. And Toasted here on Twitter says, well, my league is the same. And it was a concern that a lot of people in the My League, My Gem community had with current gen, next gen, the Rona, all this stuff going on. Are they gonna be able to pay attention to the My League My Jam community. And this post here it says, sit on the boss's chair and make decisions that matter not only to your player or team, but to the entire franchise and league. From drafting impact rookies to trading players to relocating your team, every move, big or small, counts towards the long-term success or failure of your basketball franchise. If they did have some new stuff to show off about My Jam My League, they probably would have said something here in this blog post. So it's not looking good. For the people that buy the game for My I don't think nobody buys it for My League My GM exclusively because they rarely, even when they do make improvements, they're very minuscule. They barely spend time on this game mode if we're being honest with each other here. So this is just a whole bunch of fluff just to get the My Jam My League guys uh, of like content. But is this, reading this would not make you content if you really cared about the mode and make you frustrated that they didn't pay attention to the mode whatsoever. NBA 2K leaks and news put out this post saying everyone's favorite game mode is back, the cages. People's getting real, real close with it. If you look very closely here, the cages has made a return to NBA 2K21 as well one would expect. I think it was first introduced in what, 19 as the Under Armour cages? It's back, third year in a row. But the community reaction was all over the place. There was people saying this is a W, I'm messing with the trailer. There's people saying, man, you guys will accept anything. You guys, 2K could just do whatever and you guys are cool with it. Uh, Swante here says, this community's sad and weird. Y'all really satisfied and happy with minimal efforts. Y'all really bots. But Cole the Man put out a tweet saying, new park is a W. Steezo says, don't get me wrong, next gen park's gonna need to be on the moon or underwater or something. But this Venice Beach looking ass neighborhood good for now. And this is exactly how I feel. Like with next gen, my expectations are so sky high, it's scary. And I feel like this is gonna lead to disappointment, but whatever, I'm gonna deal with it. But with the current gen, because I kind of expected nothing. Oh, whoa, we get to play in LA? That kind of feels like it surprised me. And that's sad, the fact that I have to do that, by the way, but that's the reality of it. There's a whole goddamn pandemic going on. There's a console jump here and they're not hiring more people. What do you think the result is gonna be? There's gonna have to be corners cut from somewhere. And me personally, as a person who's gonna get next gen off rip, it's in my best interest that they cut corners on current gen. For the people that can't afford to, or don't think they're gonna have access to the next gen consoles off rip, it's in their best interest to have them cut corners on next gen. So it really depends on which boat you're on. Uh, and apparently uh, Brian Mazik was a writer here on Forbes who was given the information about the MyGM My League, even the My Career stuff here. But in this article it says, we didn't get any information on MyGM, which likely means it's unchanged. 2K has implemented the new NBA calendar, which has been impacted by the Rona. This was done to capture the reality of the current day NBA. It also mentions the WNBA will have better representation. You can now play an entire season with all 12 teams, which is kind of dope. And the bottom line is that there isn't a ton new here. It's apparent now more than ever. If you're looking for something new from 2K this year, you'd be best to look ahead to next gen. And that's true. Your Rage put out a tweet saying, I hate you easy to impress ass people that don't care if 2K, f oh man, I in the ass every year. They the only ones in the comments complaining about people who are complaining. But there was a lot of craziness going on because the YouTube community was like, man, why didn't we see any twos courts? There was a whole pan of the park, but we didn't see any twos courts. People were freaking out. Ronnie came to the rescue to calm everyone down. Relax guys, there's gonna be twos. He said this, let's stop the silliness. Twos are still very much a big park option. Carry on. Aiden put out a tweet saying, thank you. Jesus, you scared everyone. I love you. You love Ronnie, my guy? You just be loving people, huh? <laughs>
and the official NBA 2K21 account even confirmed it, dropping a screenshot of the twos court here. So the camera was around here on the bottom, on the top right, and it it just wasn't looking at this angle. And they kind of separated all the threes courts from the twos courts this year, unlike last year where they had the twos courts smack dab in the middle and all the threes courts surrounding it. I've been streaming pretty consistently here on this channel. Subscribe, by the way, if y'all want to be put on notice for that. It was a lot of fun. And a lot of people ask me throughout the stream, Agent, should we buy the current gen version of the game? It really depends because I always say if your friends are getting a game, get it because any game you play with your friends is always fun. And I mean any game. I could play NBA Live 14 with my friends and I will have a blast. If your friends aren't getting the game and you want to get the game, I would usually recommend not getting the game. That's my recommendation as it goes with just about any game that's multiplayer. Now, single player games is a different story. In my opinion, if you're getting the next gen version of the game and you're not balling on money and you can't just dish it out like this to 2K, why would you get the current gen? You can play it for two months, get the next gen, then buy that, and that's gonna be another 60. At the end of the day, to me, this is about having fun. Do I think I'm gonna have fun playing the game? Now, I don't have to ask myself that question because I make videos on the game, so I'm getting regardless. But on a game that I don't do videos on, I just think, hmm, would I have fun sitting down playing this game for four or five hours? Would I get bored at the fifth hour? Those are the questions me personally I ask myself, so I can't answer those questions for you. And even though Mike Wang mentioned that he's working on the next gen version of the game, I guess he's still being asked to help explain and promote and sell the current gen version of the game because he was on Twitter the last couple days trying to break down how the game is played and how it works. He mentioned dribble tiers, speed boosting thresholds, and dunk rating requirements for dunk packages and contact dunks are basically the same same in 21 as they were in 20. Duke responded saying, we know a lot of things are basically the same in 21 and 20. <laughs> Good answer. He also put out a poll, an interesting poll, where he asked, do you want to be able to see your opponent's green lights online? And a massive landslide majority, 84% voted yes, including me. Which is crazy, because when Mike Wang introduced the idea last year, there was way more people opposed to it. Which kind of goes to show that a lot of people are just opposed to change. For example, this new uh, doing layups around the rim and attacking the rim. You know how you had to like do this and then aim your shot as well as time your shot? A lot of people right now are opposed to it. And there's a good chance it could be asked if it's not implemented it properly but the reason i'm saying i think it has a potential to be a great feature that adds more to the game is because the same thing right here last year a lot of people wasn't fucking with this idea now they are if the idea is implemented properly i believe it could add a lot to the game being able to see other people's jump shots to me adds to the game and i believe it has a potential with this new finishing system to add more to the game just wait sometimes y'all before you jump there's some ideas that are flat out bad we, we we could we could call those out with that shadow of a doubt but sometimes when something productive is introduced don't just shoot it down immediately because you're used to some shit we want something new something new is introduced nah we're not messing with that new thing now it's like man that's a tough scene for developers because now they don't know what the community wants everyone wants something different i i recognize the challenges man i'm not oblivious to him but still uh i'm with stizo i'm with ticino i'm kind of like in all camps to be honest with you i hold nba 2k devs to the same standard i hold every other dev team that i play games of period i'm not going to reduce my expectations on the current the, on the next gen version of the game because uh the 2k guys they never really do that much content i'm cool with just this it's a next generation figure it out but the next gen is months away we don't even have an official release date for that yet so not nothing is confirmed for now what we do know is that the current gen version of the game has a 2k beach no new introductions to the my gmi league which is disappointing and we have a whole trailer now so if you guys can go through the trailer and try and break it down from yourselves if you care that much but uh, it's basically the same goddamn thing reskin and it looks a little prettier if you guys enjoyed the video you haven't already make sure to drop a like let's try and get the video to 25,000. if you guys are new subscribe some videos on the screen right now if you guys want to catch up on some more I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.